1995 question 6 conic sections. In question 6 you are given a figure which represents a radar station. You are told that the curves A, B, C and D, E, F are semi-elliptical and parabolic respectively. So we'll see here A, B, C is half ellipse and this here is a parabolic shape. And that the two curves are tangential at the point E. So they're tangential here at this point. You are asked to draw the figure shortly on how the point E is established. So the first thing we're going to do there is set up the rectangle at the bottom of the question. Next thing you're going to do is set up your minor and your major axis and draw in your concentric circles. So this is the circle here for your minor, this is the circle here for your major axis. We're going to use the concentric circles method then to find the points on your ellipse. So that's going to give us two points here. We draw through the points and up to here. Now at this stage you can use your trammel method to make sure you have a perfect elliptical shape here. And what you can do then is you can translate that over to this side here or just use your trammel method, whichever is quicker. Probably the trammel method is quicker. So draw in your semi-ellipse, so a half an ellipse. Now for the second part of the question we need to find the focal points cause, because we need to draw a tangent to the ellipse. So to get the focal point you take half the major axis, put it at the top of the minor axis and just tick it off. So there's F1 and there's F2. Now what you need to do is come out here. You'll note in the question that this angle is going to be 30 degrees because it has to be perpendicular to your tangent line. If you see in the question, the tangent line is 60 degrees to your minor axis here. So this one is going to be 30 degrees to your minor axis. That's going to give you one point here. Bring it out from F1 and that's going to give you another point. But what we need to do is find our exact point of contact on this ellipse. So what you do is with this as your center point, so on your major circle, not your ellipse, your major circle, you swing your compass point and that's going to give you a point out here. You join that back to F2 and that's going to give you your point of contact. So you can draw in your tangent line now. Another way you could have done that is you could have done it from F2 here. So if you continue this line out, put your compass point here, swing this out as far as here, join that then back to F2, that's going to give you the same point of contact. So it doesn't matter where you apply the principle, it's always going to give you the same result. All we have to do now is box in our parabola and draw it in. So you draw a box around your parabola, which we have here. And then all you do is divide one side up into three or four or five, whichever you're comfortable with. This is going to give you a point here, here, the apex, and join them back to here. So note always that your lines are going to go back to your apex, which is the top of your parabola. That there is the question then complete.